Oh my god, this is such a wonderful surprise! The Disney Store UK's Instagram page have just announced the release of the 17-inch limited edition Esmeralda doll coming on July 19th to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And this is a pretty big deal because to my knowledge, I think she is the second ever heroine who is not an official Disney princess to get a 17 inch limited edition doll after Ellis. So imagine the possibilities for Jane, Meg, Kida, Giselle to have their own 17 inch limited edition doll. So this is so exciting and Disney is definitely testing the waters and I have no doubt Esmeralda is gonna sell like crazy when she comes out. All right, let's get to it. So the Disney Store UK caption said she's arriving on 19th July and available online at Shop Disney and at Oxford Street only. And the EU, meaning the Europe edition size, is 3,900. So that is quite a lot of numbers um, for the European release because the European um, releases always get a small um, amount of quota which is such good news for European collectors because and they've been also been having the bot situation where all these bots will swipe out and buy all the dolls before any of the real collectors have a chance to actually get them this is super awesome for them and I hope that all the European collectors who want her will be able to get her when she comes out all right, so as of right now, the U.S. Disney Store haven't announced anything yet, so I don't know her full edition amount and how much the U.S. site is getting and when the doll is coming to U.S. Disney Store. So make sure you come back to check on this video. I will update in the description or in the pinned comment as soon as I get more information on the U.S. release date and numbers. Right now, without further ado, let's get into the details of the doll. Oh my god, she is so gorgeous! And I don't have the designer Midnight Masquerade Esmeralda, so I can really say if she have the same face sculpt or not. But from the looks of the photos, I think she does have a similar face sculpt to what they did with the Midnight Masquerade release. Alright, so she has her beautiful green bright emerald eyes. I really love how bright the eyes are. Really captures her. I love the makeup. I can see a little bit of a gold um, eye shadow happening there as well. So that's pretty nice. And she has her thick eyebrows. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love her smile and the little smirk that she has. And of course she has her headband, the purple headband that she has. Her hair seems to be beautifully curled and mid uh, waist length. And I love the chained jewelry on her. The necklace is actual chain, so I love that. She has a little pendant as well. And moving on to her outfit. So her outfit is quite movie accurate in terms of the overall look and feel of it. Um, you can see that once we zoom out, she has a full length skirt instead of the shorter skirt that she has in the movie where she shows her feet. Um, I actually kind of like it. Uh, but I think personally for me, I would have preferred her. Uh, with a shorter kind of uh, skirt so that we can see her feet and her feet also have some um, bangles and anklets I think so that would have been a nice way but still this is very grand more formal than what she is wearing in the movie fittingly enough you know she's celebrating a 25th anniversary of her movie so she wants to go all decked out so I get it and then she has her little shoulder thingies the off shoulder thingies that she has in the movie with some embroideries and um, she also seems to have like straps on her shoulders, which she didn't have in the movie. But maybe this is added for support to pull um, to keep the top on. Maybe I don't know. And then, she, of course, she has her corset and then the corset seems to have like purple and gold detailing there as well. I'm not sure if it's um, embroideries or just patterns or just, you know, pressed on. I'm not sure yet. We'll need to wait for a more detailed look, I suppose, or when we have her in hand. She also have her uh, bracelet or a cuff almost like because it's quite thick. I can't tell if it's plastic or if it's metal, but it looks cute. And she is holding her, I forgot what that instrument is called. I forgot, but she has her little mini drum in her hand. Please, I will go research after I've done this video on what that is actually called. But you can also let me know in the comments below if you know. So that looks really cute and it has some little purple ribbons falling out of it too. That's quite nice. She has a newer hand sculpts, so I love that. And for her sleeves, she have her puffy sleeves, but they're kind of uh, uh, long. She has some like drapey things happening. So that's nice. And I think the patterns on the sleeves are probably printed on. 
maybe goil, goil, maybe gold metallic foil printing on there. So that's quite nice. And moving on to her skirt. So she has her little uh, peplum thingy, the one sided peplum thing that she has. And I really love the gold detail on the, um, <clears throat> the hem and edges and does look like I have some really nice patterns on it as well from what I can see. And moving on to the lower part of her skirt, the main part of the skirt is purple, it's shiny, I think probably satin. And then she has like gold jewels and rhinestones all over the place and I love the chain details. In the movie I think they were coins, but I love the shakeup of making them actual like turquoise little jewels there. It's pretty nice and I love anything that dangles so I'm, I'm all for dangly chains. And finally, on the bottom part of her skirt, and I do believe this is printed on. I don't think it's embroideries, but it's actually a really, really pretty pattern. And I love the mix of the gold and the turquoise color in there as well. Uh, it pops against the purple of the skirt, and it's really, really beautiful. I wonder how poofy it is. So once we slide, we also have a closer look at the chains and the jewels there, so I really love that. I love the jewels are like, has a mystical, magical quality to it, and they look like Mickey. It's a hidden Mickey for sure. Look at that, <laughs> that's so nice. And I love the fact that they have like a cloudy quality to them and not completely translucent. It's almost like a magic orb. That's beautiful. And once we slide over, we have a cropped photo. It's the same photo as the first one, but they've cropped it to get a uh, half body picture. So we can see some of the details a little bit more clearly. You can see that the gems are also on her lapel thingy as well. I wonder if the little drum thingy actually makes sounds. All right, so let's do a little quick comparison of how she looks like in the movie versus the 17 inch limited edition doll. So overall, everything seems to be pretty, pretty accurate. Ooh, I'm also wondering if she has her hoop earrings. I cannot see it from this photo, but maybe she has it. And um, it's probably be hidden behind uh, the, the, the scarf or behind her hair. But I think she would have it. So um, she also supposed to have another bangles on the other hand, probably has it, but we can't see it because of the mini drum. And, oh, the necklace is a new thing, and I love it so much. Thank you, Disney. Thank you. And then I really love the accuracy of the little collar off-shoulder thingy that she has. Of course, they added a little bit more extra there because probably they don't want to show cleavage on the doll. Maybe. <laughs> and the bodice spot is also correct. I think the straps are maybe for design aesthetics, or it's just purely technical to keep the top on without making it slide off. So I really love the addition of the little falling down flowy bits on the sleeve as well. And of the puffy sleeves and overall, overall, very, very good interpretation of how she looks like in the movie and still making it super glam to be worthy of a limited edition heirloom doll. So I love everything about her. And the only thing I wish that it was different is that I wish she would just have shorter, um, uh, dress length. I mean, they did a shorter dress for Rapunzel. Rapunzel also had dress where she was showing her feet and it was quite nice. It's also a, a breath of fresh air between dolls with all floor length gowns. I think Anna is also one of the dolls that have shorter skirts. So yeah, that's the only thing I wish they would have done differently, but still it's gorgeous. It's just my personal opinion. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the doll. Are you excited? And make sure you check back here. After a little bit, I will update the information on the US Disney Store as soon as they are available. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you guys enjoy the video and you're as excited as I am. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.